and welcome to another Salesforce and Trailhead tutorial with myself, Jonathan Fox. And today, what we're going to be going through is lifecycle hooks um, within Lightning Web Components. So we're going to head over to Salesforce, take a look at some lifecycle hooks, and then dive deeper into VS Code and see what's actually going on. So here we've got a Lightning Web Component, super basic. What I'm going to do is inspect the page and have a look at the JavaScript console. You can see there's been some things logged there already. I'm going to refresh the page and see what happens. So as we can see, there is an order in which they are logged. And we'll just see that it goes constructor, connect a callback, and render callback. And I'm going to refresh it again just to show you that every time it's going to be in that order. Now, what we've got is the constructor. This fires when the instance of this Lightning Web component is created. We've then got the construct, uh, connect to callback which is called when this element, this uh, component is inserted into the document, into the DOM. And then we've got the render callback, which is called every time something is rendered or re-rendered. What we can see is in this lightning input here, if I was to type hello, we can see that every time I type something and it renders down at the bottom there, we can see that this render callback is firing and calling the console.log within. I said over to VS Code and have a look. So within VS Code, what we've got is our constructor, which has to have the super method, and then we've log in our constructor message to show you that it was firing first. Now this fires, as I say, when the component instance is created, and we can see that um, it only fires once. We then have the DOM is created after our connector callback, which is this one here, but before I'll render callback, and when this element is inserted into the document, this hook fires, and we can see that this will happen on connected callback, parent and then children in its respective order, whereas our render callback happens from the child up through to the parent in that order. Now, render callback is unique to Lightning Web Components, and we can see that it's actually called after the render method is called as well. Now, a way to mitigate that constant call of render callback, if you only want it to happen once on the first render callback, and you need to handle some sort of logic within it that is pertinent and only needs to ever be run once, what we can do is we'll go ahead and comment that out, and we will uncomment this section out here, which is just setting a variable um, of a Boolean uh, has rendered true, and if it's rendered, Great, we'll set the that greeting component uh, variable will be set and we will log it and then we'll set it to false, meaning that if this re rendered callback happens again, everything within this if statement is not going to happen because we changed the Boolean to false. I hope that was useful for you and I hope that helped you understand um, lifecycle hooks within Salesforce and within Lightning Web components. Now, there are some more, there are disconnected callback, error callback. Now, take a look at developer.salesforce.com, dig into the documentation, but hopefully those three that I described there will be useful for you going forward to handle any sort of logic you need in your Lightning Web components. Until next time, thank you very much.